William Shakespeare was known for his doomed romantics. Romeo and Juliet, Antony and Cleopatra. But here, 10,000 kilometers away in China, in what's now modern day Fuzhou city in Jiangxi province, there was another genius hard at work. His name was Tang Xiansu, although others call him Shakespeare of the East. Today, Tang's reputation is growing. So much so that his hometown has created the Tang Xiansu International Theatre Festival, a month-long cultural celebration featuring performers from all over the world. show this festival so beautiful place here now big place big festival big beautiful people so I think this uh, festival is a good uh, way to exchange uh, cultures between us and share experience and emotion I think these sorts of Intercultural exchanges are really important. The International Theatre Festival that's here in Jiangxi at the moment, these give us really good opportunities to work together. And I think culture shows us, if you look at Tang's work and Shakespeare's work, they ask some of the big questions about our lives and our personalities and our fate. And I think that shows us that we have more in common than we have differences and they can really help us bring people together. This is the Peony Pavilion, based on Tang Xiansu's most famous play and built right here in Fuzhou, his hometown. Now earlier this year, a replica of this was sent to Stratford-upon-Avon, home to William Shakespeare, which makes another link between the two writers. Mudanqing呢,作为我们中国戏剧文化的代表, 我们把这个牡丹亭建到海外去就是想通过这个牡丹亭作为一种媒介跨时空的时空这个对话 OK, so um, what's now for the city of Fuzhou? What's the future plans? 我们目前已经在这个英国的斯特拉福德和俄罗斯的比尔姆斯做了两个牡丹亭下一步呢我们准备在美国和阿联酋再做两个牡丹亭 Tang had a huge imagination, but I'm not sure even he could predict the impact thanks to his Peony Pavilion. Opera, dance, a massive theatre festival held in his hometown every year, Chinese architecture in England, and perhaps the most important one of all, closer connections between people of the world. And that to me sounds like a happy ending.